When you climb up into the cab of your rig, do you look forward to the trip ahead? Are you going to be fighting that gear shift lever a good bit of the time? Maybe you'll be fretting about wasted power, too. Inefficient use of the fuel and engine power you have available. Well, forget all those worries. With a fuller nine-speed Road Ranger transmission, you'll get dollar value power at the drive wheels. What's more, you'll get kid glove handling, even with loads up to 90,000 pounds. That's why you should take a look at how easy it is to operate this transmission, which was designed for today's heavy-duty trucks. In addition, you can learn some operating tips, which will help you save fuel, reduce downtime, and make driving a lot easier. The fuller nine-speed transmission consists of a front section with five forward speeds plus reverse, and a rear section with a low-range gear set and a high-range gear set. In a normal upshift sequence, the five front section gears are shifted with the rear section in low range. Then the front gears are used with the high range section, except for low, which is used only in low range. Thus you have nine progressive forward speeds. You shift the front section gears by moving the shift lever through this simple five speed shift pattern, a basic H pattern plus a low gear. The selection of high or low range is made with the range control valve. With the range control in low range, you shift through low, first, second, third, and fourth. Then, while still in fourth gear, move the range control button to high range. Now upshift up to fifth and on through to eighth gear. The rear section automatically shifts from low to high range as you move the shift lever through neutral. This is the shifting pattern for direct drive models. The operation of the overdrive models is the same, except that the third seventh and the fourth eighth positions are reversed. Here are the specific shifting procedures as you would perform them with a fuller nine-speed Road Ranger transmission. You start your engine with the transmission in neutral and bring the vehicle's air pressure up to normal. Check to be sure that the range control button is in low range so that you'll be sure to be in low range when you start up. Now, push in the clutch pedal and move the shift lever to the low gear position. If your truck is equipped with an upshift clutch brake, you should push the clutch pedal all the way to the floor before putting the lever into low gear. The clutch brake will stop the rotation of the gearing so that the clutch teeth won't clash when being engaged with the gears. If your truck does not have an upshift clutch brake, simply depress the clutch pedal and wait several seconds to allow the gears to stop rotating by themselves. Now release the clutch pedal and start moving in low gear. Accelerate until you have enough speed to shift to first. Then double clutch through to first gear. And here's how you double clutch. Start your shift by pushing in the clutch pedal and releasing the accelerator as you move the shift lever to neutral. Once the lever is in neutral, let out the clutch. Once you have synchronized the gear speeds, again push in the clutch and complete the shift. Double clutch all upshifts and downshifts. Now continue the upshifting. Second, third, and fourth in the low range. When you reach full governed RPM in fourth gear, check your speedometer and remember the speed. It will help you when downshifting later. Also, while you're still in fourth gear, prepare for the shift to fifth 
by moving the range control button to high range. When you're ready to shift to fifth gear, simply double clutch and move the lever to that position, which is the same as first in low range. As the shift lever moves through neutral, the transmission shifts from low to high range. You continue to upshift through the high range shift pattern until you reach the desired cruising speed. Now, what about downshifting? When traffic, terrain, or other conditions require a slower speed, here's how you downshift. As your vehicle slows, the engine RPM drops down to the point where you can shift into seventh gear. Double clutching on downshifts requires that you synchronize the gears by revving the engine with the clutch pedal up and the shift lever in neutral. After the double clutch, shift down to seventh, and then down through the remaining gears in the high range, double clutching each shift. While still in fifth gear, prepare for the shift to fourth by moving the range control button to low range, which will pre-select the low range. Do not attempt to downshift to low range until your road speed is at the fourth gear cruising speed you noted while upshifting. Shifting to low range at too high a road speed will damage the synchronizer assembly. As you shift through neutral to the fourth gear position, the transmission will automatically shift from high to low range. Then continue to downshift through the low range as the load pulls the engine RPM down to the lower shift point at each gear position. 